Welcome to my kitchen. It's nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. And on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make instant mashed potatoes because they instant and they're easy to make. And I got a half box here and pretty much a half box here. So it's going to be a video on making a full box of these because, you know, we, we can eat a whole box. And if you got more than one person, they sure can because you need, you need a lot of mashed potatoes. So if you're new, get subscribed. If you return the subscriber, let's get started. What I'm going to be using today to make these is some salt, some black pepper, some butter, and some mashed potatoes, instant mashed potatoes pretty much. This is the original and you can add the black pepper if you want to, but it don't say it on the back of the box. You're also going to need some milk. I need to use this before it goes bad. And some water. I just put it in this cup for, you know, reference. So just to help you out before we get started, this is the servings. Since we're fixing the entire box, we got seven and two thirds cups of water we're gonna need. We're gonna need three and a half cups plus five tablespoons of milk. I'm just gonna round these off to seven and a half cups of water and uh, three and a half cups of milk. We're gonna need one and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm just gonna eyeball that. We're going to need three quarters of a cup of butter, and I'm going to eyeball that as well. Plus, I'm going to add some pepper into it because that gives that mashed potatoes just that, just makes them awesome. Also, on a side note, for a creamier mashed potato, stir and add additional hot water or milk. So instead of doing it as it says on the box, I'm going to go ahead and add my water to my kettle. Seven and a half cups of water is what I'm adding. So here's cup number one. I'm gonna add seven and a half more. So now that we got uh, seven and a half cups of water because I am rounding it off and there ain't no use putting seven and two thirds cups of water into it, in my opinion. We're supposed to add three and a half cups plus five tablespoons, but I'm gonna round it off and just add four cups of milk into this. Cup number one, and now I'm gonna add the other three. So now that we got the milk added, I'm going to go ahead and add my salt. On the box it says we should add one and a half teaspoons, but I just eyeball this. And I do the same with the pepper because I go ahead and add black pepper. The black pepper is optional, but if you want that, you want good yummy mashed potatoes and you want to add some black pepper to them. It's time to add the butter and I pretty much add just a quarter of a stick. Just drop it down in there. Hit it go boop. And now we can boil this. So pretty much everything is starting to come to a boil now. You can hear the water, it's starting to bubble. So I'm gonna turn the heat from high down to medium, just so it don't overflow because this does got milk in it and it will bubble up extremely fast on you if you ain't careful. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my mashed potatoes. Now we are doing pretty much a whole box, but I got two, two boxes of, close to two boxes of half so you want to stir it as it's coming to a bowl and it will thicken up as it gets hot so we're going to keep adding the potatoes and stirring till we get to the thickness we want which it should be the whole box so i turn my stove back on high just so it'll get done faster because i don't want to be here all day waiting on medium to heat this up and thicken up good you just got to be careful not burn your potatoes because you can burn mashed potatoes and our butter just melted and you can see the mashed potatoes are starting to come to temp now it's trying to boil we just don't want them to burn so you want to keep stirring them and if they get too thick for your liking you can add just more milk or more water so I think these are going to work out good for us. So now I'm going to turn my temp back down just a little and take my time to finish up the taters just so they don't burn. Once these taters get to a thickness you like, then they are done. I don't know if you can see us or not, but these taters is popping at you so you want to be careful and that's because I got them way too hot, way too fast. It's pretty much a trying to boil. So be mindful of that. If you try to cook them extremely fast, yeah, you might get a little bit of mashed potato bun from them popping. So we're going to set this onto another bun and let them cool off. So the mashed potatoes turned out great. They look extremely good. We've got a big bowl of mashed potatoes here. Now I'm going to take uh, me a little bit out in a separate bowl and try them out. And we uh, see what they taste like. But they're going to taste delicious. We don't know that. 
you wanted these a little bit more creamy, I'll just add a little more milk or water until you get the texture you desire. So the instant mashed potatoes turned out pretty good. On a side note, you want to take your time with making these. I sped up the process by running the heat on kind of high. But if you take your time, your potatoes turn out a whole lot better. These turned out pretty great. Almost a 10 out of 10. But I just want you to be mindful of that when cooking, take your time. It's late and I was in a hurry. But you can, as you've seen, as I did, rush through the process. So let's dig in. It's extremely butter filled. Now this is an entire box recipe, but as you've seen, it's easy to follow back of the box instructions to make less or more potatoes. It's up to you. But you can store the leftover potatoes in the refrigerator and heat them back up and have them the next day for leftovers. I have the, just the perfect amount of salt in these. I think I could use a little bit more pepper, but I'm not complaining because you can taste the pepper. Extremely good. Very good. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. Hope you enjoyed this video on the instant mashed potatoes. You might not knew how to fix them, or you did. And you might fix them a different way than I do. And I enjoy hearing everyone's comments. So, comment below. If you're new, get subscribed. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for watching another one of my videos. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Oh, it's good.